Welcome once again to The Front Porch. I am Michael Dawson for TheBeerEngineBlog.com and today we have a very special treat. Readers submitted beers. After I posted about brewing my Berliner Weiss a little while ago, Reader Scott was kind enough to send me a couple bottles of some Berliner Weiss that he brewed. Scott writes, This started as a work transformation challenge from Nebraska Brewing Company. The original wort was a wheat-based 1056 OG moderately hopped with Chinook, I believe. We then took our five gallons and split it. From there, we did a no-boil mash with 50-50 wheat and Pilsner, bringing the original gravity down to around 1038. The split batch got a separate dose of yeast. The silver cap, which is this one with the Big Ben wine marker, received a blend of Nebraska wild yeast captured from a local apple orchard from a spontaneously fermented cider. It also received various sour dregs. The yellow cap, which we have here in the Pagoda wine marker, got Berliner Weiss blend. The yellow cap with the blend finished at 10.05. The uh, silver cap with the spontaneously fermented cider yeast and various sour dregs finished at 10.03. Each version sat on the yeast for around seven weeks. Scott goes on to say we submitted the silver cap, the spontaneously fermented and dregs, to the competition as we felt it had a bit more character. While not traditional, I think you'll agree we transformed this work we were given. In an update, Scott also told me that that entry received 39 and 44 in the competition, which are outstanding scores, but unfortunately were not enough to place. Congratulations on those scores again. So I'm going to start the timer, two minute beer review, two beers, pressure's on, we're beginning with the Berliner Weiss blend. This one is definitely the milder of the two. I get, I get some acid in the nose, but I also get a lot of uh, a lot of apple, a little bit of lemon, but a bunch of red delicious apple. It's got a pervasive lactic sourness that's quite mild, quite drinkable, quite refreshing. That's nice, creamy, weedy body. And this one has a nice kind of prickly level of carbonation. Uh, in in beers, this this low gravity, there's not a whole lot of material there to support a foam stand. But the carbonation is good. I think my mom would like this version more. The version with the spontaneously fermented cider yeast, gathered wild from Nebraska and the sour dregs, definitely has, has more character. It stands out a little more. The nose is much sharper. Uh, in addition to the lactic, I might get a little acetic action here, possibly from the dregs. I'm reminded of uh, apple cider vinegar a little bit. Not in a bad way. Um, the sourness is much stronger here. It's, it's a little grippy in the throat, but it's tempered nicely by that same creamy, weedy texture. For whatever reason, the carbonation in this bottle seems a little bit lower. It's not quite as prickly, um, but yeah, this is this is a really nice batch. Two really nice batches, actually, and I think it's a great illustration of how there's more than one way to skin a cat when brewing a Berliner Weiss. I finished under time. Congratulations to me, Scott. Thanks for the beers. Thanks for sharing them with everybody. Until next time, keep brewing. Cheers.